stop. If there's one thing I desperately wish I changed in my practice approach a couple of years back, it's how I was working on scales. I also see this every single day in our amazing Patreon community of over 6,000 players. We are almost all guilty of looking at scales like this or like this or even like this and we become victims of our own repetitive patterns. It's almost as though the scale shapes we memorize are dictating how and what we are playing and we somehow lack the freedom of expressing ourselves creatively on the instrument. But what do I actually suggest with this video? Abandon everything and just play by ear or always go full chromatic mode? <laughs> No, that's probably not a good idea. What I actually want to show you today is a way of looking at scales that you probably never heard of. Honestly, it's almost like a hack or shortcut that suddenly unlocks amazing advanced sounding scales without the tedious work of studying and memorizing the shapes and how they look on the fretboard and then forgetting them again after a couple of days. So here's what you need to get started with this, the modes. But hold up, wait, I'm not talking about Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian and Locrian. That's of course what most people think of immediately when they hear the term modes. But did you know that pretty much all scales have modes? And did you know that there's a way of practicing and memorizing them in just one small section of the fretboard? And that a simple and easy workout like this can completely change the way you understand music? Well, all of this is true, so allow me to show you how you can get started. <laughs> That is the sound of the A minor scale, also known as A Aeolian, since we just talked about the modes. You probably know this one by heart. It consists of the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, U. Okay, no, I'm sorry. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, of course. So it's kind of easy to remember. Recite the alphabet. And the first easy trick of making all this much more interesting is something you might know. Just raising the seventh note in the scale G to get A harmonic minor. <laughs> So now you have the scale formula 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, 7. Flat 3 standing for minor third, for example, or 7 for major seventh and so on. So as you probably know by now, when we compare these scales, only one note changes. And this is the easiest way of memorizing the harmonic minor scale instead of studying your shape or box. Now let's say you don't know the A harmonic minor scale all across the fretboard yet. You would probably look at all the three note per string shapes or boxes and try to memorize them in your practice routine until you filled all the gaps across the neck and you can switch between each position while you're improvising. And by all means, that's not wrong. It's just kind of ineffective. Because you're missing out on six amazing advanced sounding scales this way and they are actually all at your fingertips already. Because remember how you get the Dorian mode by playing the Ionian mode or major scale from the second note or how you get the Aeolian mode or natural minor scale by playing the major scale from the sixth note. Well, like pretty much any other scale, the harmonic minor scale also has modes like this and they sound absolutely amazing. So it's a big shame when you're just studying and playing for all the three note per string shapes of harmonic minor or any other scale without knowing which mode you're currently playing and how awesome it would sound if you actually use this mode for your composition instead of just seeing it as the third or fourth scale box of harmonic minor so here's the exercise concept i promised you at the beginning of this video no it wasn't a joke you really just need a couple of frets for this amazing daily scale workout but before i show you the full practice routine allow me to break it down for you in easy small bits Instead of playing the second scale box of A harmonic minor, two frets up from the first one, like you would normally do, so starting from the second note in the scale, B, I want you to see this as a new individual scale. So to directly compare this new scale to the A harmonic minor scale in this position, you will also play it from the fifth fret, so with the root note A, and this is how the notes line up when you do that. Now, as you can hear, this is a really cool sounding scale, mostly called Locrian Natural 6 or just Locrian 6. The scale formula for this one is 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, flat 5, 6, flat 7. And the big twist I want you to memorize today is that this is the exact same scale and formula you get by playing the harmonic minor scale from the second note. So B, Locrian 6 has the same notes as A harmonic minor, just in a different order. So in today's full exercise routine, you will play all of these notes starting from the note A so that you learn to see them as individual scales and you don't have to constantly rely on that connection to A harmonic minor. So let's keep moving because the next scale sounds even cooler than that. When you play the third three note per string shape of A harmonic minor that would start with the note C. But you see that first note as the root and move it to A you get this really cool sounding scale. So 
So now you have the scale formula 1, 2, 3, 4, sharp 5, 6, 7. And this one is unsurprisingly called Ionian sharp 5 because it's almost exactly identical to the major or Ionian scale. It just has the sharp 5 for some extra dissonance. So this one is a great choice if you want something a bit more spicy than the major scale. It has that really cool augmented sound. The next one is especially interesting for all the fans of the Dorian and Lydian sound. If you're taking the fourth three note per string shape of the A harmonic minor scale, that would start with the note D. But once again, you see the first note as the root and you move it down to A, you get this really cool sounding scale. So now you have the scale formula 1, 2, flat 3, sharp 4, 5, 6, flat 7. And this one is called Dorian sharp 11 or Dorian sharp 4. And sometimes it's also referred to as the Romanian scale. This one is kind of a mix of the Dorian and the Lydian vibe since it has the characteristic Dorian major 6th interval. But it also has that Lydian sharp 4. <laughs> That sounds really unique and I think you're missing out if you just see it as one of the scale positions of harmonic minor. By the way, if you're as hyped as I am about improving on the guitar and finding the best exercises and theory systems out there, make sure to subscribe to this channel right now because I'm posting videos like this one every single week and it would be a shame if you missed some of the tricks that would have immediately solved your biggest frustrations at the moment. That won't happen to you anymore if you're a real part of our YouTube community. Now here comes the star amongst these modes. It's the fifth mode of harmonic minor. So when you take the fifth three note per string shape of A harmonic minor, that would normally start with the note E. But once again, you see the first note as the root note and you move it down to A, you get this amazing sound. So now you have the scale formula one, flat two, three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, and that is the Phrygian dominant scale. As you can hear, it has a really cool and exciting Spanish flamenco kind of sound. That's why it's also often called the Spanish Phrygian scale. I actually composed in the key of E Phrygian dominant for the first song on my latest album, Elevation. So this is a really cool sound that you should always have at your fingertips. And I really recommend studying all of its possibilities by listening to the full song after watching this video. Also make sure to follow me over there because I know you're always looking for new guitar music and inspiration. So up next when you're playing the sixth three note per string shape of harmonic minor. But again, you see the first note as the root and you move it down to A, you get this awesome scale. The scale formula for this one is 1, sharp 2, 3, sharp 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is the perfect scale for you if you're into the Lydian sound, because it's essentially just the Lydian scale with a raised second scale degree, which makes it even more interesting. And I have one more for you today before we look at the full workout. Super Lockram. That's a pretty epic name for a crazy sounding scale. So for this one, you need the seventh and last three note per string scale position of harmonic minor. One last time, you see the first note that you're playing as the root and you move it down to A. And this is what you get. <laughs> The scale formula for this one is 1, flat 2, flat 3, flat 4, flat 5, flat 6 and double flat 7. That's enharmonically a major 6. So a lot of flats in this scale, probably the exact thing you need if you want to make some crazy dark and dissonant music. <laughs> But even if it's an odd sounding scale, you're still working within a defined harmonic system when you're writing with it. So it will make sense and it will sound pretty cool for more experienced and open listeners at least. Dude, I don't get it. I don't get it either. So now it's finally time for the highlight of this video. This is how the full scale workout routine looks like that I really recommend for your next practice routines. <laughs> So working like this is pretty much the most effective way when it comes to practicing scales and studying them. And this will make a huge difference in your sound and how you're actually navigating the fretboard. So if you are sick and tired of studying scale diagrams or of just playing the same old scales over and over again, make sure to download the full scale workout package on Patreon with really cool exercise play along videos, tabs, guitar profiles and backing tracks in different tempos. This is not just another mindless scale drill just for technique. You're really training your theory skills because you start to look at the modes of scale 
skills in a completely different way. So in the future and after completing this workout program, you will no longer play scales up and down the neck like this. With heptatonic scales, you will always learn seven really cool sounding modes that you can use creatively for your music. So seven really cool unique sounding scales instead of just one in different positions across the neck. That is how I wish I approached practicing scales many, many years ago. And it will truly transform how you are sounding and improvising in just a couple of days. So there you go, make sure to download your files on Patreon to start mastering this right away. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. If you're just like me and always on the hunt for new guitar music, you can follow me on Spotify as well. The link is in the description. And I will see you again in the next video. The YouTube algorithm says this one is a great choice. So make sure to click on it if you want to keep watching. Talk to you soon. Greetings from Vienna. Bye bye.